and welcome to Econ Economics Now. I'm Scotty Ubetje. Making headlines this week is the multi-billion dollar corporation known as Walmart and its competitors. Walmart fired up its discount engine early. Many malls are kicking off midnight sales. Will shortages of hot products put shoppers in a bad mood? Holiday shoppers will see a clearly defined battle line this Black Friday. Walmart on one side and everyone else on the other. Amid the clash, shoppers are likely to find offbeat discount deals, new shopping hours, and looming lack of popular products, such as the highly anticipated Optima Optimus 3000 with premium lighting and flying capability, which this year comes with a very neat dual cannon firing system for all those shooting lovers out there. And of course, we have last year's Editor's Choice winner for Best Toy of the Year, the Waterproof Spider-Man. The day after Thanksgiving is dubbed Black Friday because it is when retailers are said to finally move out of the red, representing losses, and into the black, indicating profits. It also marks the start of a four-week gift-buying shopping blitz leading up to Christmas. For retailers, November and, December, November and December sales are critical because the two months together account for as much as 50% of the profits and sales for that year. Eager to capture early ho holiday sales momentum, merchants battle each other on Black Friday by offering steep dis discounts on the season's hottest products and a bid to lure bargain-hungry shoppers and lock in critical holiday dollars. What is the outlook for this year? Good, but not great. Let's take a look. Despite concerns that a cooling housing market has made homeowners feel less wealthy and less in inclined to shop, overall retail sales have increased so far this year. According to some retail analysts, Consistent income growth combined with the recent gas price retreat helped to offset the negative housing effect and should continue to be a spending catalyst in the coming weeks. Nevertheless, the National Retail Federation, NRF, the industry's largest trading group, estimates holiday sales will grow 5% to $457.4 billion, slower than last year's 6.1% increase. Good clean game, guys. All right. No, nothing below the waist. Nothing below the waist. Let's go, let's get they saved. Oh, that's it. Oh, you're that's on. it. Right you're there. On. You're that's on. It. Oh, oh, you guys, you guys, wrong. I'm joined live in the studio by Johnny McHale, representing Walmart. Nice school, nice school. And Jeffrey Streets, representing Sears. Walmart, the world's largest retailer, availing its big holiday deals week ahead of Black Friday, slashing prices on popular merchandise such as toys, electronics, including a 42-inch plasma HD TV. Walmart then announced a slew of further discounts at midnight on Thanksgiving morning, including an Xbox 360 for only $3.99. The retailer appeared to have learned its lesson from two holidays ago when it didn't discount heavily and lost crucial sales to its competitors. Moreover, Walmart is yet to see a solid up upswing in sales at its stores this year. What do you have to say about that, Johnny? Uh, well, Scott, um, for budget-cautious customers, the good news is we have set the stage for serious holiday price war with discount rivals Sears and Target. We have taken a lead in the holiday sales race by setting early price cuts in an attempt to draw in low income shoppers and even mid income shoppers. Some high too. A very balanced argument, I must say. Now over to Jeffrey. Um, what do you have to say? Well, right now we're going to go from a typical three day shopping blitz to a four day shopping blitz to you know, <coughs> avoid the crowds so it won't be that big on Saturday and Sunday. A uh, very good strategic move that I haven't seen in a few years. Um, another question that comes from one of our viewers. Jeffrey, does your business or corporation see Walmart as a sort of a monopoly? Well, of course. I mean, if they change prices, everyone else is going to have to change their prices because they're just going to lose, you know, business. And the uh, other point would be that uh, they're killing other shops, right? If a small grocery shop opens up near Walmart, they're not going to work at all. Okay. Um, I now have a personal question for you guys. Um, the shortages in products, do you guys control that or does it have to do with other sources that I'm not aware of? Well, uh, I get, we, Walmart gets a big shipment of everything, right? But our strategy is to take that shipment and put some away, and then once other retailers like Zellers or Target get, like, sell all their shipments, we bring them out and pretend like we're the heroes of the day. Very intuitive. Um, Jeff, uh, how do you treat your customers? Well, we treat our customers fairly. I mean, when we run out of something, we run out of something. We don't hoard it and hide it and try to be, you know, gods of that day. Okay. Uh, there you have it. A very balanced argument from two of the very top leading retailers in the business. 
Hello, I am Gypsy Fruk reporting live from the Walmart and I have here the last Optimal Optimus 3000 and I am told I am the last one in the country with one and it is very nice. I would uh, I would like to take it home. Yes! yes! The toy is gone! Yes! Give me the toy! Oh my god! That better not be a real gun! Better... Ah! This is violence I everywhere! Oh, oh my god! god. I toy. I... Oh my god! I, I don't know what's happening. I'm, I'm Farouk and I'm here. I don't have the toy anymore. Um, oh. There's two men dead and somebody should help, but there's nobody here. Um, back to you. Wow. Um, I'm as surprised as you are. I mean, that was totally... Uh, I don't know what that was. But one thing's for sure, though. That Farouk does an amazing job of reporting. And you gotta love that outfit. Nice job. Wrapping up today's events, Walmart is taking a lead in the massive Black Friday shopping spree, hoping to generate a lot of profit. From all of us here at the Economics News team, I'd like to thank you for watching, and you stay classy, Economics class, especially you, Ozar. Oh. Let's record everything. Do something funny. Da da da. Da da da. Da 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 da. This old man, he ain't good. <laughs> <laughs> ain't one of the used it. We'll drop pants for food. We'll yeah. drop pants for free. <laughs> yes, I find her a funny joke. Wow. Just gotta shoot the blanks. <laughs> shoot blanks all night. What a stupid I don't joke. I watches that. Why are you taking off the tripod? Yeah, that way Evan can watch it if we do it Monday too, right? Well, he'll be able to watch it anyway. It's not like we never see him. It's so nice. How do you take it off the tripod? It's all good. I can just pick up the whole truck. Scott, what are you losing there? What are you losing? Piece of that? This is the pen fixing that this idiot broke. Idiot. I'm pretty tired, I want to go home. Yeah, so do I. So many, what do you say? So what do you have to do now? What are you